All right, day two, part three. Got about four hours in her already, including junkyard time. Uh, I've got all the lines in. This one was kind of tricky. This one here runs all along the back of the firewall there. That was a little tricky. I had to take the uh, heater hoses loose, kind of work with it, kind of straighten it out a little bit and sneak it back behind there, but I got it. I got the uh, shuttle valve, the combo valve mounted to the frame. All the holes are there. Everything that you'll need uh, hole-wise is in the frame. So make sure you get all your screws. Got all my lines connected to it. There's the lines going back to the, the rear. There's my, uh, the front lines are connected and the uh, master cylinder lines are connected. The reason you have to get all the lines is because all the lines for the ABS are just real, they're too long and they're misshapen. And if you try to bend everything and try to make it work, it's just not gonna fly. So just get all the lines and save yourself a headache. So let's go around, look underneath, show you what I've been doing underneath there. <coughs> underneath here, I've got the um, junction box for the parking brake. I got it loose so that I can access this area here to attach the uh, the load valve. Now the holes are already in the frame. The provision's already in the frame for this valve to be installed, so make sure you just get the screws. And there's a couple of uh, J-nuts here that slip into these square holes. There's two of them. Make sure you get the J-nuts too, along with the bolts, so that you can install it. Now I tried to salvage uh, all the pieces originally because um, I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure whether I was going to have to put it back, but I ended up having to cut the brake lines, the old ABS lines out of the car because they're just way too long and I just didn't want to hassle ripping things apart that I didn't have, have to rip apart. So I just cut them out in three pieces and uh, that was it. In order to change the lines in the back, uh, you, could, you could pull the gas tank out to do it right to get to the clips and stuff, but I just went ahead and took a screwdriver and popped the little clips out to hold the lines in place. I took and, and uh, loosened the gas tank, dropped it down, and moved it over so I could get in access this area here. The lines run between the tank and the frame. So once you do that, you'll have plenty of room. Uh, you can sort of straighten them out and work them through uh, and get them back in there. I did it. Not really that difficult. Just be patient and you'll get it. Uh, so all the lines are hooked up in the back. Um, the only thing I have to left to do now is connect the load valve. I still have to connect the load valve. I have to install the booster master and um, bleed the system. And then take it for a little road test. So she should she should work fine. Take that ABS crap, throw it in a trash can, and uh, put some regular brakes on it that uh, you can get parts at a reasonable price. So there you go. Part three done.